G'day everybody, it's me again. I uh, made some more uh, modifications to what I'm calling the cider inverter. And uh, I put in the neon which comes on when the uh, when the capacitor is charged, approximately 70 volts. Um, that's just a resistor there to slow down the charge and also sort of controls when that uh, neon comes on. If I put a higher value, the neon will come on way before the cap's charged. Uh, it's for 70, 10 watt. Um, that's for discharging slowly. It's a 10 watt 820. Uh, we have an 80 volt 8000 microfarad capacitor there for a test. Um, and uh, here we go. That's the current charge in the capacitor. So we'll hook up the uh, inverter. Just plug it in like this. Now that's inverting from 12 volts. And you'll see, maybe you can hear it whistling away there, but the frequency gets higher as it charges. Alright, there we go, we're charged. 78 volts. Now, I could discharge that through the resistor, and you could see the uh, volt gauge go down quite slowly and controlled, but that's no fun, is it? We want to see discharges. Whoa! Even that one made me jump that time. It's bloody loud. Whew. Now that's 80 volts, 8,000 microfarads. I'm probably going to be looking at around, with the capacitors I have on hand, 200 volts at around 4,000 microfarads. So we'll see how that goes. And, uh, oh, that didn't take all the charge out. There's still some left. I have to get rid of that too. Eh? There we go. Oh, there's still some left here into that one too. There we go. There can't be nothing left now. Anyway, there you go. Just a quick Monday update. Thanks for watching.